How to set the shore power limit on your inverter. It's very important that every time you plug into shore power or run your generator that you set the shore power limit. This number lets the inverter know how much shore power you have to work with and if you use more than the shore power than can provide the solar and the batteries will pick up the rest of it. So this allows you to run more than just the shore power can provide. And this is called assist mode and the inverter will say assisting. So if you look here, it says AC current limit. You wanna set this to whatever shore power you're plugged into. If it's a 15 amp or 20 amp household receptacle, set it to 15 or 20. If it's a 30 amp campground or a 50 amp campground plug-in, set it to 30 or set it to 50. If you have a smaller gin, set it to 25 or lower. If you have a larger gin, set it to 45 or lower. If you set this number too low, it's not gonna harm anything. It will just kick in battery power sooner. If you set it too high, it will trip the breaker on the generator or trip the breaker on the pedestal that you're plugged into on shore power. When on shore power or generator power, the inverter prioritizes the AC loads and sends power to AC loads first and anything that's left over up to this limit will be used to charge the battery. If you're at a campground with sketchy power, for example, and you have it on 30 and it's going from invert to charge mode to invert to charge mode or keeps tripping the breaker at the shore power, instead of a 30 amp, you could, might want to set it at 25. That way it gives it a little bit of leeway so it doesn't trip that breaker. Same thing with a 50 amp, you might want to put it at 45. If it's, if it's causing issues at 50 at a campground. Now this AC current limit only applies when you're on shore or gen power. It does not apply when you're just in regular inverter mode. So it doesn't matter what number it is when it's on inverter mode.